Craving for authentic South Indian meals in Borivli is what pulled me to Simply Saraswat. Now they make traditional snacks like podi idli, which is my absolute favorite. Now I realized that this idli dish is doused with generous portions of ghee. Today I'm going to take a little bit of inspiration from them, a little bit of tweaking from me, and I will share my recipe. Welcome to Dakshin Curry. So instead of regular idlis, I'm using mini idlis. So I'm going to take this onto a plate. I'm going to pour some gunpowder paste. This is basically a mix of mulaga pudi or gunpowder and sesame seed oil. Now to know how to make idli batter, idlis and mulaga pudi, just click on the links which you can see on the screen. And you'll get the recipe for the same. Now we are going to be using our fingers and we'll smear the idlis well with the gunpowder. And then we are going to keep this aside for say 15 to 20 minutes. Actually the longer you keep the better because then it's going to absorb the oil. Just mix this. And once these are evenly coated, allow them to rest for a while. So now our idlis have coated you know, and have rested with the gunpowder paste for quite a while. Now let's quickly finish the recipe. And I'm going to add some oil. Now, very little oil, not too much because the gunpowder paste already has oil. And once this heats up, we will add mustard seeds. In go some mustard seeds. And we'll allow this to crackle. Now, this is my take on chutney podi. I'm keeping it simple with very simple tadka ingredients. You can go crazy. You can also use vegetables of your choice if you're going to serve this to your children and make it even more healthy. So, let's allow our mustard to crackle now. So, now our mustard seeds have crackled. Let's add urad dal. Nice and crunchy. I'm going to add some curry leaves. Just crush it and add. And mix it. Now I'm also going to add some coriander stem to this. I just love coriander stem. I'm adding around a teaspoon. Now we'll add the idlis which have been coated with the gunpowder mix. Also add the gunpowder. Mix this. Now this is a really um, quick recipe to make if you already have idli batter. Instead of just having it, you know, with gunpowder, you can just try this method. Now, in this, I'll add very little salt and I'm going to add some sugar. And I'm going to add some hing water. Once all these ingredients have gone in, all you need to do is cook it on a medium flame till your sugar kind of starts to melt and that's about it. Your mini idlis are ready to serve. I'm going to just roughly crush, just add some coriander leaves in this, give it a mix and let's serve this. And don't miss out on the tadka, that's the most important ingredient, it gives the crunch to these idlis. And if you want, you can sprinkle some more coriander, just roughly crush it and add and your idlis are ready to serve. My snack is ready. Once you try this, you're never going to be going back to having just idli and podi or idli and chutney again. Do make these recipes guys and I'm looking forward for your feedback. If you have liked watching this recipe, do click on the like button, subscribe button and definitely subscribe to India Food Network. Until next time, bye-bye.